Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews. In this video, we're taking a look at a new Zebra pen. And this is the Zebra X701 Tactical Ballpoint Pen. Now, there's a reason I put the word tactical in quotes there and sort of, you know, finger quotes or scare quotes or air quotes, whatever you call it, is I kind of feel like too many things throw the word tactical on, like tactical pen and tactical, you know, eating utensils and tactical this and tactical that. And I suspect, I mean, I'm almost certain they do it to sell more things. Because tactical sounds like edgy and dangerous and whatnot. And I guess to some extent it works because you are listening to the owner of a tactical tomahawk. Because, you know, who doesn't need a tomahawk? And if you're going to get a tomahawk, obviously a tactical one. So this is supposed to be, let's take a look at this. All right, patent pending pressurized yeah, patent pending pressurized barrel allows you to write in extreme temperatures, extreme angles, five times more durable than your everyday plastic pen. Plastical? Yeah, anyway, convenient lanyard loop refillable with K refill pressurized barrel. All right, so can you read that? Due to the pressurized barrel mechanism which allows writing at extreme angles some ink blobbing may occur all right so let's see uh, pin made in indonesia refill made in japan packaged in mexico a truly international pin and zebra is from edison wisconsin edison, new jersey all right so i saw something somewhere where this is supposed to have a steel barrel. There we go. Non-reflective stainless steel barrel with convenient lanyard loop. Alright, I feel like what they're trying for is they're trying for the Fisher Space Pen right anywhere action. Which, you know, I mean, you can't really go wrong with that. And then you get the two refills. You might be able to refill this with the uh, the Fisher Universal Refill. I'd have to check it to make sure. It says the K Refill. According to according to the, the back of the packaging. So, I don't know. So, that's how you replace the, the refill. Alright, let's see this thing writes. All right, this is the Zebra X701 Extra Dangerous Tactical Pin. I almost feel like I should have, like, I wonder if there's a way I could write tactical and put teeth on it. Tactical. Get some fangs and some teeth. Super edgy. Ah, tactical. Alright. Okay. I have basically spent the last, like, minute and a half making fun of the tactical pen. But, that being said, it kind of feels pretty good to write with. I'm wondering... It says a stainless steel barrel... But this is plastic, I'm pretty sure. But is it, you see, I think it's plastic. I don't know. It's kind of hard for me to tell. This part might also be metal. Hmm. Anyway, I don't know. I gotta tell you though, all making fun of things that say tactical aside, it really doesn't write too bad. And it's not uncomfortable. It's relatively light. I mean, it's not it's not what you could think, consider a heavy pen, but it's not bad. And I mean, they're relatively inexpensive. It's like ten or twelve bucks. I'll include a link on, in the description where you can find it on Amazon. So I, I, I don't know. Maybe. 
I don't hate it. I mean, that's for sure. It's, it doesn't write. I like it. It writes. It feels like it writes better than some of the other zebra pens. My biggest complaint about zebras are that their refills tend to be weird sizes, so you can't use the more common ones on a lot of their pens. Hmm. Anyway, let me know what you think. Also, you can let me know what you think about things being labeled tactical. I'm kind of curious about that as well. Hmm. Anyway, if you have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I hope you all have an excellent day.